Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, IBM's Infosphere Data Architect, otherwise known as IDA, and we will use it to reverse engineer a DB2 SQL file into a physical data model. We'll map that to a logical data model and then use IDA's integration to System Architect, IBM Rational System Architect, to map that logical model over into a logical model and system architect. So let's begin. This is IDA, Infosphere Data Architect from IBM. First thing we'll do is create a new design project. Call it HR System. Once we've created our uh, design project, let's create a new physical data model leave the name physical data model and you can see in here that IDA enables you to reverse engineer from various databases so we're going to choose DB2 for Linux Unix and Windows the version of DB2 I'm gonna leave it version 9.5 because my SQL file is from DB2 version 9.5 now I'm running um, IDA version 8.5 uh, later versions of IDA will support later versions of these databases. So DB2 version 9.5. We're going to create a physical model from reverse engineering. I have an option of connecting to the database directly or reversing a DDL script. I'm going to choose the latter. Reverse a DDL script. My script happens to be here on my desktop. It's for an HR example. Click Next. I'll choose to create an overview diagram automatically. Click Next and Finish. And the, um, the um, DB2 file is parsed and we get an overview diagram which simply has the names of the tables and the relationships on it. Now, um, we can right mouse click and choose properties and see that IDA has various options on auto laying out the diagram, um, changing the appearance and the annotations on it. But what I've got here is um, uh, filters for showing um, keys. I'm going to turn on the key information, the non-key. Um, column information, um, indices, and triggers. And so um, the diagram now shows a lot more information than the overview diagram. That's my physical diagram from that uh, DB2 file that I reversed. Now we can um, use tool functions to auto lay this out better, but um, what I'm concerned with now is to move this over, map it over to a logical data model. So what I'll do is go to my Explorer and choose Transform to Logical Data Model. So I'll, I'll choose the defaults here. I'll, I'll rename um, the model created to Logical HR Model. You can see you have options on uh, the mapping, what to map the names of uh, the, the tables and the columns to, as far as uh, case, uppercase, lowercase, etc. I'll leave the defaults, click next, and finish. And so the logical model is created from an information standpoint. Um, if I look in my browser and choose diagrams, I can create a new overview diagram of my logical HR model and choose the entities now logical entities that I want to show on that model diagram and here they are later versions of IDA beyond 8.5 support auto creation of this diagram but it, the information is here you simply need to create an overview diagram and and specify what um, entities you want on it and the relationships are all here so again like in the physical um, physical model I can right mouse click choose properties 
and I have all kinds of filters on appearance and layout but I'll choose here to show my key and non-key information and you can see here is my logical data model reverse engineered from DB2 okay I can again work on the layout using the tool features but what I want to do now is map this to system architect so let's save the logical model let's save the physical model and let's do the mapping before we do the mapping let's um, let's take a look at system architect we want to show you something there we happen to have system architect here hiding behind IDA and um, I've already created a, um, an encyclopedia called HR model to house this information that I will map in the, um, I've turned on logical and physical data modeling there I want to show you the connection so this connection information is important for the for the integration I need to know the integration IDA will need to know what server to connect to so here is the long server name of my SQL server 2008 Express I have installed but um, I've changed the name of the connection it was a longer name than this defaulted to a longer name I double clicked in here and 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 change this to a shorter name but but this is what it's going to look for the connection name when we uh, when we map um, the model over from IDA let's close this well actually I'll actually close system mark up here you can see logical HR model back here um, I'm going to close system architect it doesn't have to be open see it's an empty um, encyclopedia it doesn't have to be open for the integration And let's return to IDA. So we'll do a file export. Now if you have installed the data model import export wizard, which is a choice during installation of IDA, you will have this, this uh, option here under data, data model export wizard. So you can see this enables me to map to various products. I'm going to choose System Architect 10.4 to 11.x. I have System Architect 11.4.2.6 installed. The model I will choose is my HR system. The, um, the export to file, I'm not actually even going to use this choice during this example. Um, so I'll just put in a dummy file name just to get through the, um, the wizard here. So now, in my connection name, remember that was local, and the encyclopedia name is HR model. Project data model, I don't have one in System Architect, therefore it will just take the, the model name in IDA and create one in System Architect and map this information into it. If I had created a, a project data model in System Architect, I would specify it here and this information would go into that project data model. I'll leave this empty. We have other choices here, whether or not to close System Architect after the mapping occurs. I'll leave the defaults. We'll click Next. And now System Architect will be started. So System Architect comes up, I get the normal messages for VBA macros that I happen to be running. This is my normal start of System Architect. I run a number of macros. And so now the integration will open that encyclopedia and map the uh, data model information into it. And so we can see here in System Architect that we now have a logical entity relation diagram. And there it is, and it is the, um, the mapping of the DB2 file that was reverse engineered by IDA and brought into System Architect. So now you can look at the, um, um, the logical model within the context of the enterprise architecture. 
Um, you can also um, use IDA as the harvesting tool and also the DBA tool. And the integration goes both ways. So models that you build in System Architect you can map into IDA and then generate schema. So thanks for watching and um, take care.